This is a moth. It is an ever-developing, single-person, 3.4-meter hydroplaning goddess of boats. It is the first of its kind, and the most accessible, pricing at about $15,000. It is mostly made out of carbon fiber and fiberglass, weighing only about 10 kilograms. As all of its measurements show, it has its roots in Australia, along with the most high-speed skiffs and other high-performance boats. But the moth wasn't always supercharged like this. This is Olive, built by Len Morris in Australia in 1928. It was called Olive after his wife, and the boat and its performance were so outstanding that more models were built, and in 1935 the International Moth Class Association was named. In the U.S. in 1929, James Joel Van Sant started off the American Moth Boat. His boat was called the Jumping Juniper. In 1935, the International Moth Class Association was formed due to heavy foreign interest. In 1971, the marriage between the Australian moth and the U.S. moth finally happened. Rules were adapted to allow the faster and more powerful setup of the Australian moths and the better, more organized rules of the U.S. The highlight of all these moth boat developments and improvements occurred in 1972 when ISAF recognized the International Moth Class Association with a new set of restrictions. Now the moth class is thriving both in the U.S. and in Australia, but it was not always like this. In the late 1970s, moth interest died in the U.S., and it switched back over to Europe and Australia. But, ten years later, it was revived when interest in the classic moth was renewed in the U.S. Even through the roller coaster of interest in the moth boat, it has sailed right through and now stands to be one of the coolest, most interesting, and most entertaining sailing boats there are. Not only do sailors like this boat, but spectators from land, and the moth has gained an intense amount of publicity over the years. From personal experience, I know what it feels like to be entranced by a moth. They are different than the normal clunkers we all sail, and they are fast, sleek, and cool-looking. One day, we had a regatta on the Chesapeake Bay, and it was rather windy, so it was going well. But between race four and five, a moth sailed by. When people saw the black boat, they just stopped sailing, and everyone paused and looked at the black boat swiftly sailing across the course. Everyone was amazed, and racing didn't start up again until the boat was gone. Moth sailing has helped not only itself, but also the sport of sailing in general. With all of its new developments and improvements, the moth has generated massive amounts of interest in sailing, and this is important in the new day and age of fast cars, airplanes, and Xbox. A while ago, the general public did not care about sailboats and sailing unless they were on a pleasure cruise. But the moth has switched that around. Now, as iPhones, Ferraris, and F-18s have slowed their development progress, sailing has increased it. Now, a new revival to the environment and outdoor sports is coming into vogue. That is why, when there is a moth sailing around, people watch it. Although there are many advantages, there are also many disadvantages to the moth, such as that it is expensive, hard to purchase, hard to maintain, and hard to learn. But I am sure... As the moth develops further into the future, it will remain a great boat for years to come.